this is Linda Como with maybe my final interview for the conference. Uh, in, uh, for our conference, the um, 2015 North American Systemic Constellations Conference in San Diego. And today my guest is Kathleen Murakami. Murakami? <laughs> Um, and her talk is on Saturday morning, 10.30 to 12, the expansive spiraling parallel between gyrokinesis and systemic constellations. Welcome, Kathleen. Hi, Linda. I'm so Hi. excited to talk to you. Yes, I'm excited to talk to you and, and learn more about this. So uh, tell us all about gyrokinesis and systemic constellations. Okay, so I am so excited about presenting this work, uh, first of all, because I, I've been an exercise teacher a really long time, and uh, it's, my career has evolved from the days of uh, before aerobic shoes all the way through step and slide and high impact and low impact and weight training and you name it, I've taught it. And I have now specialized in uh, gyrotonic expansion system and Pilates. And uh, specifically for the conference, I am highlighting gyrokinesis, gyro, which means not to gyrate, but a circle, um, which is a wonderful modality for mobilization of the spine, lubricating the joints, stimulating the nervous system, and it has tremendous physical benefit. But I like to tell everyone, it's really not so much a work out, but a work in. And what I mean by a work in is that we uh, cue in a manner where it really drops the attention inside the body. So you may not have thought about, uh, for example, moving from your kidneys or leaning to one side and opening the space inside your body for your left lung and then breathing in as though it's a big uh, manta ray, your whole body a manta ray and moving something like that. Uh, anyway. It's um, a wonderful, wonderful technique. And as I have been teaching it quite a bit at uh, Rancho La Puerta Resort where I work, um, I started seeing in my mind's eye, so to speak, how just all of us sitting in a circle, which is how we start, we're forming a constellation. And just because of whoever shows up that day. Then um, by the way that we're moving the spine and moving the arms and legs, uh, here's the image is that you are like the windsock man at the used car lot, you know, that every time the air goes through, he goes like this, and then his little windsock arms go like this, and his little legs go like that. And that's like energy moving through the spine and out through the appendages. And when we do that in a group, we are interconnecting that way. So there'll be times when we're connected in the circle, like when you're a little girl and you folded the paper and you cut the dolls and you pull it open and we're all holding hands. We're holding hands energetically and through the heart center. So just by that, I could just see and feel the energy of us all working together. We're working individually but you're working together. And um, the ultimate goal for the gyrokinesis work, which does not involve equipment other than your own body, uh, is to really open the third eye and the crown and the, just your whole physical vehicle to the world, to life and to experience. And I feel very strongly that um, whether you're a representative in a constellation, whether you're just a witness, you're holding the space, or you're the facilitator, you are operating through the physical body. You're, you, you really want to kind of get your mind out of the way. And so through the breath patterns we make, through the physical movements that we make, 
through some of the suggestions I offer to people as we're moving. Uh, for example, if we're scooping from the below the navel and through the center and up out of the top, it's like reaching down into your past and pulling it into the present and then releasing it out into your future because it's all connected anyway. Uh, I think that the cleaner our vehicles are, then the clearer a channel you are to offer this service that you're either you know, representing or facilitating for someone or just so that, again, you're holding the space. And um, so I just got really excited because I could just see and feel all of that. And um, that's why I decided, well, I think I have something to offer this conference. Um, as I have noticed, you um, Many healers or uh, intuitives or readers or people that really tap into the unseen world and they use the eyes behind their eyes, sometimes um, they may not be really aware of how much care they need to give to their physical bodies. So this uh, modality of movement is really gentle it can be vigorous, it can give you that, you know, washboard abs and your lifted bum and all of that, if, if that's what you desire. But uh, for this work, uh, I think that um, sometimes, as I mentioned, uh, we forget those things. I mean, I, this is my job, so I don't forget too much. But uh, just to give yourself that nourishment, that time, that attention. You know, it's like a vacation. You come back more refreshed. And um, just a few of these gentle, rocking, pulsative, rhythmic uh, actions that we make, just a few alone, you really, you, you feel the buzz and you feel the difference. So um, will you be yeah. offering uh, an example in your workshop also? Will people actually be trying some of these movements, Kathleen? Yes, yes, yes. Um, I want everybody to be aware that they actually will be doing more moving and breathing than probably any other workshop, unless there's someone else doing something that's very movement oriented. Um, however, I don't want anyone to feel intimidated thinking they have to be in shape or anything like that, or they have some... Uh, limitation physically uh, they they've had a disc situation in their back or a shoulder frozen shoulder for example because uh, the way I really encourage people to move is within the range that feels good you know it just should feel good if it feels good you relax it gets juicy it's just like the way that constellations work you just you just go with it and you know when to go a little closer, you know when to pull a little back. It's, it just works so, like I said, the spiraling parallel. And um, another thing, I, the movements are all circular or spiraling or a figure eight, which is the infinity sign, or an undulation, like a, like a snake. And all of those movements actually are continual. They just, they, they, they never end. And they're just like the breath, which never ends until the final exhale. <laughs> and that's how there's this just continual, like our work, the continual lineage forward and back, you're tapping into that, you're tapping into nature because everything, when you look at the natural world, is in a rhythm, it pulses. You have the sun up, the sun down, the moon up, the moon down, and it just constantly renews. So like breathing, the breathing we do, every inhale is that opportunity always to start new. And every exhale is that opportunity to now let go. And you just never stop that. And there's always a little pause at the top and a pause at the bottom, thus the expansion, the gyrotonic expansion. And it's not just breath, 
it's not just the body, it's your consciousness, it's space, it's all potential. So I hope that makes sense. <laughs> it definitely makes sense. And I love the idea that um, it would help a person uh, get in touch with their body um, and thus in, in, in a hundred ways perhaps be more alert to what's going on. Mm -hmm. And uh, I myself have facilitated the odd constellation where a representative could not get in their body. So I see this as very exciting. It sounds gentle also. And uh, so it sounds very interesting. Wow. Well, that sounds very cool, Kathleen. Um, anything else to add? Um, well, let's see. We will, I want uh, everyone that comes, if uh, the hotel doesn't give it to you to remember, possibly bring a small towel. We will do something uh, at the beginning called scrubbing, okay. which is uh, part of the awakening the senses segment. So we awaken the five, the sight, scent, smell, taste, hearing, and touch. But we really, are, again, are working to open the sixth, too. Okay. So by uh, some of this uh, stimulation of the surface of the body and that's some what we call drumming of the bones and the reverberation, you're just waking up, waking up. Super. And, yeah, so... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm super excited about this. I, I really do. I love, I love, love, love this work, and it's something anybody can do. Um, and I really believe that if you come with that, uh, I call it the I wonder, the I wonder uh, mindset. Usually people will read that word, gyrokinesis, and kind of go, hmm, I wonder what that is. <laughs> So hopefully you go, I wonder what that is, and not, I wonder what that is. <laughs> you know? But that, that feeling, right? You have that feeling of wonderment, and you're just open to, wow, okay, this kind of actually makes sense. So, yeah, yeah. Well, thank you very much, Kathleen, for explaining it a little bit more. And so Kathleen's workshop is on Saturday morning, 1030 to 12, the expansive spiraling parallel between gyrokinesis and systemic constellations. And we'll see you at the conference in a few days, Kathleen. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye.